Welcome everyone at the uh, at this session. So it will be about, about uh, refinement tools. And uh, so um, we will have actually four speakers, hopefully, uh, in this session, speaking about four different refinement programs. So uh, about the RefMap 5, about Buster, about um, Phoenix Refine, and about uh, Shalex L. Um, so the first speaker of this session will be Keitaro Yamashita. He is a postdoc in uh, Garib Marshatov's group at the uh, MRC LMB in Cambridge. LMB in Cambridge. Um, so Kater actually has a wide uh, uh, ranging interest in crystallography, uh, including XFL, including time resolved crystallography. And today he's going to give a talk about the recent improvements um, to RefMap 5 through so utilization of data from different sources. So please, Kater. Okay. Um Thank you very much for introduction. And I'd like to thank uh, organizers uh, for giving this opportunity. So yeah, I, I will definitely talk about the uh, RefMark pipe for the refinement, but I would like to give a particular focus to Cryo EM. So uh, anyway, I will start its uh, general introduction. So atomic model refinement is optimization of atomic model parameters like uh, XYZ coordinates and B values against experimental data with the help of uh, prior knowledge. And the RefMark 5 can take uh, various data types, but the most common one is observed structure factor amplitudes. But if you did an experimental phasing, you may want to give it probability distributions. But if you did a sub phasing, probably the direct use of F plus and F minus will be preferred. And the using this F plus and F minus, you will also get the anomalous difference map that is actually very useful to identify the uh, metal ions. And in case of crystallographic twinning, you can um, directly use uh, diffraction intensities. And for cryo single particles, the phase structure factor F, so not just amplitude, but also phase is used as of observation. And RefMark uh, supports various uh, data sources. And in short, they have uh, different atomic scattering factor, and they need uh, different handling of hydrogen atoms. And the X-rays uh, are scattered by electron uh, density. So the atomic scattering factor, uh, its power is almost uh, proportional to its atomic number, which is a number of uh, electrons. So the light elements, uh, especially hydrogens, it's very hard to see in the density map. They case of neutrons, neutrons are scattered by nucleus, so and its size is very small, it's almost like a point, so and the atomic scattering factor is uh, constant over resolution range, because um, uh, Fourier transform of delta function is constant. And deuterium, uh, the isotope of hydrogen has very similar uh, scattering lengths to carbon, so <clears throat> deuterium is uh, very easily resolved in the density map. And the electron source, for electron source, it's scattered by electrostatic potential, which is formed by the contributions of, from both uh, nucleus having positive charge and electron density having negative charge. And its scattering factor is somewhat uh, similar to X-ray, <clears throat> but the contrast between different elements, it's uh, uh, lower than X-ray. So the curves are, uh, close to each other, making it difficult to distinguish the element. And as Lucretia explained, the hydrogen has a special property. Its electron, electron is shifted towards the parent atom. So if you use X-ray, you will see the electron density here. And if you use neutrons, you will see peak here. And if you use electron source, electron microscopy or electron diffraction, whatever, you will see peak around here. And that position it is actually dependent on the B value of hydrogen and the resolution of data. This very interesting uh, phenomenon was discussed in Takanori's nature paper. And these things are uh, taken into account in RefMark. And I think I can skip this slide because it's already covered by other people, but maybe I uh, should only mention that uh, just recently, RefMark replaced uh, its robust estimator function for, for 
um, external distance restraints. It's, uh, previously, it used the gamma macro function. It, it's, uh, it's like this uh, to allow the large deviation in external restraints, but it's replaced with a more uh, robust, uh, more general uh, robust function where uh, gamma macro function is uh, only a special case. So it's, this version is not released yet, and we need uh, further testing. But maybe this is a kind of um, big change in RefMark. So um, here I'd like to uh, move on to the sing uh, single particle analysis. Um, you may be familiar with this method. Uh, this is the method to reconstruct the 3D density map from um, the 2D projection images of particles that are randomly oriented in the thin ice layer. Historically, it was a method for low resolution analysis, but in 2020, you know, finally, it, uh, at, uh, atomic resolution was achieved, where the only, uh, even the uh, hydrogen of water molecule were visualized. So now it's more, uh, now the refinement, atomic model refinement for chlorium single particle analysis is more important, I think. And uh, let me also explain uh, this thing for, for the rest of my talk. So um, reconstruction programs in um, single particle analysis mostly implement a gold standard protocol. Uh, this is a protocol to uh, split the, um, the set of um, particle images into um, to random sets, to random half sets, and reconstruction is performed within each set independently. And each 3D reconstruction is called the half maps. And they can be uh, considered independent reconstruction. So signals should be common, but noises are independent. And these uh, two half maps are compared uh, using FSC, Fourier shared correlation. Uh, this is a correlation coefficient uh, between two uh, Fourier transform of half maps. So it's, uh, it looks like uh, this plot. And this uh, plot is used to determine the resolution of uh, the reconstruction and also for weighting uh, maps. And um, after reconstruction, half maps are averaged into one map that is called full map. And full map is again uh, weighted by the uh, FSC. The FSC is uh, uh, transformed into this uh, uh, formula. And uh, sigma t squared is a variance of signal, and sigma n squared is variance of noise of the full map. So, uh, and here we assume the independence between signal and noise, and noise is in the half maps. So if you see it's related to the signal to noise ratio. And if here we have two because the uh, variance of noise in half maps uh, twice as large as uh, full map. So full map equivalent FSC, which is called FSC full, uh, can be calculated from um, this uh, transformation. Okay, so now I can talk about the refinement, atomic model refinement. We uh, developed a new uh, pipeline for cryo-EM single particle analysis. This is called Stabrachat. In this pipeline, users should give uh, half maps so that uh, a program can estimate the signal to noise ratio of the map and model. And, but if um, point group symmetry was applied during reconstruction, then the model must follow that symmetry. So, in that sense, model in asymmetric unit uh, should be provided uh, just as in crystallography and uh, together with uh, point group symmetry symm uh, symbol is needed. Then uh, several just generates a whole assembly and define the mask around the model and using that mask uh, trim, the ma uh, trim the map into a smaller box. This is to speed up calculation in mark. And we do the tree transform, and then we get uh, f obs together with phi obs. And the mark uses these um, for refinement of atomic model. 
And after refinement, Sabra just writes an MTZ file that can be auto opened with CUT. So you will see, the, as usual, the blue map and the green and red map are there. Actually, a sharpened and weighted uh, FO map and FO FC map. I will, I'll explain it later. And in ref mark, um, our refinement is done in reciprocal space, reciprocal space, but the target function is, of course, different from crystallography. Because in crystallography, we don't have observed the phase information. So we need to integrate the uh, function to uh, uh, over phase angles uh, to remove the phase dependence from the function. But in single particle analysis, we do have observed the phase information. So we don't need the treatment. So, so we have a different um, uh, form of function. Uh, also, the basic assumption around uh, for, for the model is the same. And we should keep, but we should keep it in mind that the FO still has noise, observation noise in complex plane as form of 2D Gaussian. And the FO minus FC map is actually useful for uh, single particle analysis. For example, for uh, visualization of ligand density by omitting the uh, ligand of interest. Or of course, it's uh, useful for um, detecting model errors, just as in crystallography. So the calculation details for FO minus FC map was published in, in, in the paper as a proceeding of uh, last year's CCP for study weekend. And as I said, uh, you, you will see, uh, you can auto open MTZ and you will see the blue map uh, for model rebuilding. And uh, I'd like to explain what is it and how it is done. So um, we consider, so we assume that uh, there is an F true, but we cannot, of course, directly observe it. So in, and in observation, um, F true is blurred by a blurring factor K and, and with the noise added. So this FO is a free transform or full map, the average of half maps. So and we want to calculate the weighted map WFO and this W is resolution, resolution dependent weight factor that minimizes the average. Um, Square the difference between WFO and FT, F2. So it immediately derives that W is equal to uh, FSC full divided by K. So FO should be debrowed by the same factor and it should be weighted by FSC. And at the moment, we don't have a method to estimate K accurately. So we use an approximation. Um, like this, and the justification behind this uh, is discussed in the same paper. Anyway, we uh, the uh, left panel uh, is uh, the full map. This is unweighted, unsharpened full map, just the average of half maps. And with this weighting scheme, we see uh, the right figure. So it's sharpened and uh, weighted. So hopefully, having uh, better interpretability. However, um, maps from cryogenic single particle analysis often have a large uh, variation of uh, local resolutions. So this is just taken from the paper, and uh, this density map is colored by the local resolution estimates. So if you look at the very good region, we will see nice density like this. But if you look at the uh, region having poorer density, a poor resolution, we see the a bit ugly and less interpretable map. So <clears throat> if we use the same weighting scheme for overall region, then we will see this kind of thing. So we need reweighting of the map based on local blurring parameters. So actually this is um, a preliminary result, but um, we first uh, calculate the local correlation between the half maps. This can be done using EMUDA. And our idea is uh, that local B values can be estimated from this local correlation. 
actually, if we plot the refined atomic V values uh, versus uh, local correlation at the atomic positions, they have they are clearly uh, related. So I'm afraid I can't uh, give uh, mathematics uh, that connects this in these two values uh, here because time is limited. So, but our estimated V value is actually well correlated with atomic V values. So now we have V local from uh, local correlations. So we can uh, reweight uh, the map using that local V value estimates. So this is an uh, uh, example of re, uh, of related map. So we are looking at the region having uh, local B value estimates uh, of 200 Angstrom squared. Here is uh, the default map. So the map uh, current stability at current rates for users inspection. So they are disconnected and uh, noisy. But if you use a weighting uh, based on these estimates, we have uh, less noisy and better uh, having better connectivity and hopefully um, having better interpretability. Five minutes remaining. Thank you. Actually, this is the final. So, um, in summary, RefMark uh, performs reciprocal space refinement for crystallography from any uh, data sources and prior single part analysis. And uh, SubJet is a pipeline for Clarion single part analysis, and it has a function to calculate the weighted and the sharp and therefore and therefore minus FC maps. But Clarion single part maps often have a large variation of local B values, so um, we need local B uh, weighted maps. So this is a uh, work in progress. So I. I'd like to make it uh, available as soon as possible. So finally, I'd like to thank Garib and uh, group members and Colin and Tom for CCP EM integration of SubChat and Takanori is, uh, Takanori is she's always helpful. And Martin for Gemi, you know, very nice library uh, SubChat is uh, actually dependent on. And Toby and Jake for the computation at LMB, and thank you for listening. Pavel, you are muted. Pavel, you are muted. Um, I just wanted to thank you, Creator, for uh, your talk. Actually, it might have belonged also to the previous session because it's obviously uh, new developments in uh, refinement. Um, so do we have any questions now from the audience? I don't see really much. At the moment, we have a, I, I don't see any question on, on the Slack. Yes. Okay. I can ask one question that day. Uh, can uh, can uh, that be validating uh, be used for crystallographic maps also? Yes. Uh uh, so, sorry, can you hear me? Yes. yes. yes I can. Oh, I somehow I lose my control for the screen sharing. But uh, anyway, so okay, you you ask a question if we use if we can use this waiting scheme for crystallography. Yes. Yes, I think it's it's possible. In that case, probably we can use uh, uh, the refined B values from atomic models. In any case, we need. Because in any case, we need a model to, to uh, calculate the density model. Hmm. Oh, I don't, is there any other questions on Slack? Okay, uh, Jan uh, asks uh, what input exactly do I need to run server cut? Okay. Oh, I, oh. my slides are slides moving? It, yes. Okay, uh, okay, now I have a control. So the input for SubChat. So um, basically, at least we need uh, half maps. So if we use uh, Relion, then the half maps from Refine 3 d job uh, can be used and, and the model in PDB or MMC format. And if, 
and it's bit also better to provide the mask for the F1 minus FC calculation. If if mask is provided, we then we can um, scale the map based on the sigma within the mask. So then the map um, level, the sigma level will be more meaningful. So half maps and model and uh, if possible mask. Good, thank you. I think that the airport, uh, the, the rest of the discussions could go on on the Slack, yes, but in the interest of time, probably we should move on to the next speaker. Okay, yes, thank so, you. 